So just a few things to run through today, which I'll soon show once everything starts working. Okay, so I've done some subtle changes. So we've got this little area here. You can probably see a little base person here with their creepy ass eyes. So I'll just zoom in slowly. So he's currently getting some textures fixed up, so he looks a bit whack. But then we have these. So these are going to be our way gates. <laughs> so what the way gates will essentially do when you go through them, they'll take you through to the different tutorial levels. So these have been modeled out. I started off with texture through substance paint first, but then later decided no, I'll just go through some base textures through Unreal Engine 5, just to see how it works. Now, as I sort of progress into here, this area, it, it's all the same. So there's no major changes. <coughs> However, there are some changes to the level blueprint, for instance, which I'll soon bring up. Okay, so as you can see, we have this event begin play. So what it'll do, it will start on one and it'll fade for about five seconds. So it gets the camera manager as the game starts and begins to fade. So the next thing that we also done, we imported in the character model. So just go to him slowly. So he is lying now, but you can see this is the base character model. So we'll get more into him very soon, but this is what he sort of looks like. Then we have our character skin. So I've only set it for the base color to come through, as there is going to be some edits and refinements for this base color for the character. So all it is, is the texture sample plugged directly into the base color. Then we have our eyes texture, which is a bit more technical because, well, it's an eyeball. So we have the RGBA going into base color, with the RGB of the normal map going into normal. Then we have metallic, emissive, and ambient going into this texture sample as well. So this is basically our occlusion, emissive, and metallic. So this is the base thing for the eyeball. Just zoom slowly as well. So you can see it's a bit sideways and it looks a bit muddled projected onto the object as well, but don't worry, it's all fixed up. Um, then we have our portal. <laughs> so that's that way that you saw earlier. Uh, back to it. So if I just focus. You can see it's just a shape, pretty much. This shape holds our water texture. Then we have the Waygate body. So very basic, it's literally just the body to hold the portal. So nice little Waygate that was built for this project as well. <coughs> so there isn't really any new changes to all of this. The only subtle things, I adjusted the size with all of these menus to be 2160 by the 1440, something like that. But what I had to do was I had to go into the editor preferences, as you can see. And in the editor preferences, I went into level editor, play. So I had to change the base viewport resolution. So it's 1920 by 1080 in here now. 
So when we press play, I'll, I'll show you the fade as well <laughs> as it goes into the game. Takes a little bit, but there we go. You can see that that's all working. So, there we go. A little bit of lighting factors. We still gotta adjust. So, at the moment, we can hold all of this stuff, but this will be changing as well. So, this is just the base testing level for now. So it doesn't matter that it has all of this. And now when we go to pause, all that's set. We have all this set. Now our bounce section's set with all of this. They're all set to the correct resolutions too. So we got all this set. So when we adjust all this stuff as well, it should relatively work now. So <laughs> since I brought it down then, you can see that it works a little bit smoother, but everything has been adjusted accordingly. So that is it for that part there. <coughs> but there is some other subtle changes, which I'll show you. So when we made our eye, we got the eye material, we placed it on here, and what we actually had to do was create a planer. And what the planer essentially allowed us to do, when we switched it to this object mode, we could paint over. So it would let us paint over, so if, say that that's like that now, when we go down, you would change this base color, let's say 3D simple, and then can do it like that, can make the size so it gets that full area. But you can adjust it as well, so we could just move over here. It just depends how you feel. And then when you want to get out of the mode, you just go back to your paint mode. <coughs> but that's it for that one. Then we have our human. So we got a real disgusting human skin texture just to go over our character model that we have created. So it's a very basic character model. Um, <coughs> no name, just yet. And then the next thing I'll show is the ZBrush model. So I'll just press F to focus. So we got the base character model rig, we added in some muscle tones by taking away and smoothing out. We added some muscle tones in the side. We enhanced the arms as well as the shoulders and also the back. We made that a lot nicer too. And because we adjusted that, we just puffed the neck a little bit more and the back of the head. So that way, when you see the character, he looks normal. We also added these subtle indents into his skin. We've added eyes inside of here, so these eyes have the texture. And we squeezed in his cheeks, added some eyebrows. We refined the details on this character a lot more, and we will be adding hair and clothing eventually. <laughs> So the next thing to do was to rig them all. So as you can see, he's got like a skeleton of sorts in him. So if I hide that, you see this skeleton, right? So what we did, we finished one side of the skeleton where we then made the skeleton be able to be skinned to the character and 
by doing so we can now move body parts of course you can see that we still need to adjust the uh, weight paints so I could just we don't want that to happen though do we and then say I go stomach chest upper chest I go the neck make it ding, ding. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> So, still need some refining, but as you can see, we have the character model now getting set in stone. So, he is ready to be weight painted. You can see the muscle definition and the refined detail in the character model a lot more, seen as he's in this project now. But that is about it with all of this.